and make sure we turn the pool breaker off at the equipment. So for the insulation of the pump, you're gonna need some pool tight glue, either the blue glue or the gray pool heavy glue. And you're gonna need some primer for the pipe also. You'll need various couplings. You might need some elbows depending on how far you're gonna cut the pipe. You'll need some spare PVC pipe also. This is a two inch setup, so I got some two inch pipe here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a high temperature fitting for the outlet of the pump discharge. It actually holds up to a higher temperature than the threaded PVC one. Okay, so the new pump's about the same size as the old one, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut the old pump off right here at the threaded part where it threads in. That gives me just enough room to put a coupling here in front. So let me go ahead and cut this off. Cut the discharge off right here. So those are both cut off. I'm going to go ahead and get the wiring off the old one. And one thing to note that if you're installing it on cement and not a pad area back here like here you definitely want to get maybe the same pump that you cut out that way the inlet and outlet will be matching on the pipes there's not a whole lot of room in the front here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get just a regular threaded fitting here and i'll put it on here and that'll go on like that inside the pump and then onto this pipe here sticking out this into the front of the pump I'll use the channel locks to get it all the way in. Okay, I'm using the channel locks to get it all the way tight. I'm gonna clean the pipes off good if you have existing pipes. Get it ready. So after I matched the pump up here, I decided to cut some more of the pipe. So I cut all the way to the one and a half inch elbow. This pool is kind of a pain. It's got one and a half inch and two inch pipe mixed together. So I went ahead and cut all the way up, give me some more room here for this pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a one and a half inch fitting extender. I have it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this pipe down a little bit to get the paint off. That way it could slide on there easy. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down. I'm gonna clean the pipe off here. Make sure all the fittings are clean. I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer. Okay, you want to shake the glue up you're going to use. So I'm going to shake up the pool heavy. Definitely want to wear gloves when you use this primer. It'll eat through latex. I'm wearing some nitrate gloves. I'm going to put the primer around the area that I cleaned. The sandpaper. This will soften up the pipe a little bit. I'm going to put some primer on the fitting extender. Got it right here. I'm going to apply the pool heavy glue. Just apply it into the coupling also. I mean the fitting extender. I'm going to join them together right now with a twist. Push it up as far as it'll go. I'm going to hold it for at least 30 seconds to make sure it stays on there good. Okay, so from the fitting extender, I'm going to go ahead and put a union on here. And I'm going to put the threaded part in the pump in there. The only way to get this on here is with the union because it's going to be really tight in the front. So the union is the best way to get this together as one piece. The union right here like this, I got it apart. It'll be like this, and this will be the bottom part coming out of the pump here. Put some primer right here on the fitting extender. You want to apply the glue when the primer is still a little bit wet. primer inside there and this is really watery so it may pool up in an area just go ahead and keep spreading it around until it covers the whole area apply the glue and then I'll put one more coat here to make sure this one didn't dry push them together now a little bit of a twist Hold it. Okay, I've got my high temperature gray pipe that I'm going to use for the threaded part of here. And I got my joint stick that I'm going to go ahead and use to apply almost like a Teflon tape on here. You can use Teflon tape also. And I'm going to apply the joint stick right now. The threaded part. This one comes with threaded parts on both sides, but I use the other side already for another job. So when you're done, it should look something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and thread it in. 
I'm gonna keep threading it in. You may need the channel locks if you get to a point where it stops. But you should be able to thread it all the way in to the pump. Okay, so I basically just screwed the union together so it's all one piece. So I'm gonna have to, it's gonna have to go over the pipe about this far. That way it'll go down. So I'm gonna actually mark it here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and then put this part on the pipe. So that I get an exact cut, I got my level here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it right across here. Oops, move a little bit. Okay, that's where I'm gonna cut the pipe. I'm gonna make the cut as straight as possible. I have it marked all the way around, so I'm gonna kinda stay with the guide here. Pretty good, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, get rid of all the jagged edges. Right now I have it on here as a dry fitting, just to test it to make sure it's lined up. So let me go ahead and glue it. Okay, put the primer on first. Now for the glue, the cement. Over here, a little bit more. that in there. Let me go ahead and put it down and then you want to push down and give it a twist. And again this is the only way you're going to get this on here is with the union because there's no way you're going to be able to jam the front pipe and this pipe in here at the same time. Take this out of the way that way I can get a nice clean fit. Okay I got one shot at this. Let me get the glue on. One more time. Gotta work quick and try to time this perfectly. Hope for the best. Okay, there goes nothing. And there's definitely no way to do this without the union here. You can't you can't put two ends up into the pipe. Spray paint and it looks as good as new. So there's the pump installation part, the plumbing. Okay, I'm back here the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the pump up with some water. And I'll go ahead and fire it up. And so everything's good the next day. So that's the pump install. And then I primed it, checked for leaks, everything looks good.